seems pretty good. Alright, so I'm gonna go dispel. Actually, I'm gonna go mountain on the bottom, dispel shrine, because I definitely wanna drop that shrine next turn. Unless he's playing like Tempered Steel, I'll probably just drop the Lava Mancer. Red deck wins? What is this? I don't know. So I'm just gonna go with the shrine. I think he's playing like a red deck wins or something, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but like every time I play tournament practice and I'm not recording, I play real decks. And then every time I record, I play. Oh, rebirth. Uh, okay. Alright, so this is real. <laughs> Somewhat real. And a midnight. Interesting. Alright, well, that Lava Mancer is definitely coming out, I'll tell you that. And there's a mountain on top, so I'm gonna preordain for that other mountain. Because I want it for the Splinter Twin. And an Arid Mesa. Uh, I don't need the Arid Mesa, so you can go on the bottom, you can go on the top. And... no need to shuffle or anything. He's probably going to kill it, but I have Dispel, so it's like, it's not the worst. Uh, we'll see what happens. Basically, I'm just trying to combo quick. Which, I already have Splinter Twin and two Mountains with Arid Mesa. And I have Shrine out, so it's pretty good. I might just let him kill the Lava Mancer. Um, not really sure. Uh, see if he plays anything else first. He's just going to swing. Alright, that's cool. I don't know about this whole rebirth deck. Like, it seems kind of cool, but like, what happens if you don't draw the rebirth? Now you have like a panic spell bomb and like a mem knight and a bunch of nothing. <laughs> like, alright, I'm going to beat you down with a 1-1 a one -one and a, a panic spell bomb. Like, what is that going to do for real? Um, I think I'm okay with that. He's not really putting me on that big of a clock. I'd rather just save my dispel for the Exarch. Um, which hopefully I can get soon. Hmm, that's not cool. I think I'm gonna go digging, you know. <laughs> um, well, it's a cantrip. I'm not gonna really complain too much about that. Um, it doesn't really matter who I'm gonna hit with it. Do anything. I could have done that before, like if I was going to get an extra copy of that book. Like. So Pyroclasm just like makes me win against this guy? Is this how this works? <laughs> what? Is that real? What is that? I don't know. I'm good. Um, that's game either way. But we'll see what's on top. There's the X arc. I still have nothing. Alright, so I'm playing against Cold Author Rebirth. Very interesting. So, four Pyroclasms come main. Mental Missteps definitely come main. Uh, I could put these main because they have so much burn. It seems okay. So, I'm definitely taking out Twisted Image because they do nothing. Into the Royals don't really do anything. Mm. 
take out a shrine because they're kind of slow against him. Um, take out one probe and maybe a second shrine. Uh, I don't know. I really like shrine. I don't want to go to two. Um, I could probably ditch a growth. I'm gonna ditch one of these. Like keeping one is good because he only has burn. I actually. That might have been a bad choice because he's probably bringing in a ton of combust, and that's not so great. So I should have kept that other one in, but oh well. Turn to shrine is always nice. Wow. Okay, that's uh pretty good. Um. <laughs> um, I want everything? Can I just take everything? So I'm gonna have to play these lands and not crack them, which is fine. Well then again, I have an X mark. I could go you on the bottom, this, this, not shuffle, take the pyroclasm, then take the um, splinter twin. I'll have the whole combo, and the pyro, and this. And not that I really need that. Signal fast. Mm. Guess it doesn't really matter. Going for a red either way. Charge that up, look for like another misstep or a dispel or something. I could have missed up the signal pass, but I'd rather do that on like a rebirth or something a little more worth it, I guess you could say. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, okay. I don't know why he wants that, but that's fine. So now he has nothing. He's gonna call out the rebirth because he already sacrificed it, and now he gets nothing out of it, so that's pretty worth it. Now he has a board of nothing. That's perfect. Now I just sit back and wait for him to do something. Because there's no point in me in... Okay, well now there is a point in me of doing something. <laughs> now that I have the dispel. I mean, he still has to have the combust. Which is fine. I'm gonna put him on the combust. Just because I don't know what he's playing. Like what cards. I've never played against a uh, Rebirth deck, so I would I would greatly imagine that he has a ton of combust in his sideboard. Um, I imagine he's just sitting on those right now. So, uh, it would be good to draw that mutagenic group. Let's see if I can find it, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. Well, at least I got rid of these. That would have been not fun. Definitely should have put in now their growth. Mm. 
put probe on top. I want to see what he has. Like obviously, if he doesn't have anything, like I'm just gonna go. I have a dispel and a misstep. Let's see what he's got. Probably like two combust or something. No combust. He has two bolts. All right, so I need to. I can counter. He can't do anything. Yeah, he. I can counter both bolts and or the searing blaze. So that's fun. Let's go to town. He conceded the match. Alright. So I guess uh, Pyroclasms... Pyroclasms and Lavamancers were a bit too much for him. But uh... I guess that's kind of how it goes when you play like... A bunch of 1-1s and 2-2s and... Expect to overrun someone who just can cantrip into... Kind of almost whatever I want. Like if I really need a Pyroclasm, like... I have a pretty good amount of power to search for it, so uh... Let's start another game. 